I don't know about you, but I love to find a treasure at a great price. I'm Tish with Tish Loves Home. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. I'm going to share with you some treasures, at least treasures to me, that I have found at some thrift stores. Um, I'm going to share with you some treasures that I found on eBay that I was really excited about. And I even have something to share with you that was going to be thrown in the trash, but I decided that I could reuse it and repurpose it for somewhere in my home. Let's do a thrift store haul. So I want to share with you some of the things that I've picked up lately on some different thrift stores that I've been to. I'm going to keep my glasses on so that I can see what the prices are as we're looking at these things. And these are not all the same thrift stores um, and not all the same week. These are just trips that I've made in the past several weeks. So I just kind of waited and do one little haul overall. So I got this cute little tree, which um, it was 89 cents. Sad news about this, it had a, not one just like it, but it was one shaped differently that was made this way, and I dropped it coming into the house because I was trying to carry too many things at one time, and it fell right out, broke on the concrete. So anyway, that was a little sad, but um, this I'm thinking I'm going to use in January. I like to keep up a few little winter things most of January and on into February a little bit. So got that cute little tree. These were um, a dollar oh nine, strange, I don't know why the oh nine, a piece, just some cute little vases. They kind of have like a little fern print on them. I'm gonna be using these for my niece's tea because I am gonna use some fresh ferns on the table setting. So I think this will go really cute with that, um, you know what's funny that I just noticed? They were a dollar at Dollar General, and I paid a dollar oh nine at the thrift store. Wow. I, anyway, it's to a good call, so whatever. I also picked up these cute little candlesticks. They have the bow on them. You know, bows are all the trend right now, which is great for people like me that. I'm very girly and I love a good bow. These were 89 cents, I think each. So I'm probably gonna use these at her tea as well. I also picked up this garland, $4 at the store and it was $3 at the thrift store. Still new, still has the tag on it. And I may use that for her tea, but I'm probably just gonna use that for things around my house as well. So let's look at some of the clothes that I found. So this is one that my uh, C, my Caroline found, $3. This is a place that's uh, not too far from where we live. It's like a camp camping area. But she really just got it because she loves the way that it feels. I don't think it's a comfort color sweatshirt, but it's very soft. You can kind of see it's in really good shape. So we're going to get that washed up. She just thought this was cute. Probably will wear this mainly around the house. It was $3.69. It's what's on the inside that counts, blow pops. I just think she thought it was cute, and I do too. Cute, cute, cute. She found for me this vest. I really have enjoyed wearing vests this year, and this one still is brand new. It still has the original tag on it. I don't really know that brand, but some of you might. And it was 509. There's the 09 again. So probably I'm gonna be wearing this in the fall, kind of a folly color. She found this little dress for herself. Um, and some of these thrift stores, they're kind of getting a little pricey, some of their prices. It's the Hollister brand, so I'm sure, you know, these are more expensive, but it was like $12 at the thrift store. I really didn't realize that until just now, but that's okay. I mean, that's still not bad. It's a long dress, kind of has a little um, small slit there. So that one was for her. I found this one for myself. I don't know that it's really meant to be a dress. It's got the little bell sleeves little ruffle at the bottom. 
But sometimes I'm so short, I'm only 5'1". Sometimes when something's supposed to be a shirt for somebody else, it can be a dress for me. I loved the colors. Not real familiar with that brand. I'm not really a brand girl. You know, I don't know. If I like it and it feels good, I'm good with it. But maybe if you know brands, maybe that's a good brand. So this one was like, I think $3.69, another weird little price, but that was for me. This one came from a Goodwill store in our area and it ties right there and it's got the little sleeves, little ruffle at the bottom. I thought this would be another cute little spring dress and it was, I think, six. I picked up this little tweed jacket at a Goodwill. My daughter, my oldest daughter is about to graduate from law school, hallelujah, and her husband too. They graduated at the same time. So, you know, she's in a more professional environment. So I try to pick up cute little jackets and things that when I see those for her, it's the Loft brand, and it's got the cute little bell sleeves, and it is tweed, which from what I've heard, tweed is supposed to be the trending thing this season. So, pick that up for her. And then this one is another one that I got for myself. I've already washed it inside out, so I'm gonna turn this around. It's another one of these that's probably supposed to be a shirt. Um, and there's the brand. You know, I really hope this is not maternity. I, I, I don't know. It, it may be, maybe that M stands for motherhood. I don't know. Um, if it is, that's, that's not gonna be too good. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. You know, it's got the little um, kind of frayed ends on it. It's kind of that little drop waist. And I thought it would be cute for spring too. Maybe it's not maternity, I don't know, but there's that. She, she grabbed a few little, um, like exercise type tops, yoga tops. She wears these a lot at cheer practice and when she's running for her athletics class. So she got two of those and they were, this one was four and I'm sure she knows more about the brand. Still, I mean, I don't know y'all, some of these thrift stores lately, it's like, your thrift store. Let's let's put these clothes in a good price and get them on out of here. But to me, some of them have gotten a little more expensive. I heard one lady say yesterday when we was in one, she said, you know, if I'm going to pay Hobby Lobby prices, I'm going to be at Hobby Lobby. And I thought, well, you know, you got a point because this is a thrift store. I know they want to make money and that's great, but, you know, clothes are donated so much. Just move them on in and out. And then I picked up me another one of these you know, I just like these wide-legged, like, yoga pants. They're really, I don't even know if they're really yoga pants, but this is a, um, I think that's a Target brand, or maybe Kohl's. I don't know, one of those. But I dress these up. I mean, I can wear them to church, put a sweater on it, kind of like what I have on today, and or I can dress them down. So I usually pick those up at thrift stores, and these were like $4. So not bad. Um, and then she... Caroline got these cute little shoes, Soul Society. I love the heel, and they were 10. I think these are, are brand new. They don't, I mean, they don't look worn at all. They still have a little, the original sticker on the bottom. So, you know, that's not bad for a little, they're velvet, pink velvet, and it's got the little buckle on the side. So I don't think that's too bad. And then the last thing, I picked up two more books. Now, listen, when I show books that I buy at thrift stores, I have not read them yet. So I am not just recommending them and saying, go get this book. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I have read some things before from this author. Sometimes it's a little, um, I don't know, maybe a little bit. It's different from my personality. I'll say that. But she does have a witty sense of humor, and I've enjoyed some of them. So we'll see. I have not read these yet. This one is Fly Away Home, and you might recognize her. She has um, she's written a lot of different books, and I think some of her books have been movies. There's a series that was on Netflix at one time that I think she did. 
But anyway, I have read some of her books and I do enjoy them. And this is another one by her. So don't know. We'll see. Verdict's still out on whether or not these are, are going to be good. So I think that's it for right now. And that was three different thrift stores at three different times. And y'all, a lot of times I just run in, do a quick survey and just run out. You know, I don't, I'm not always in there for a long time. Sometimes I really like it when I can look because you can find things when you can really look. But um, I am always shopping with some type of purpose the majority of the time. I'm picking up candlesticks and things right now. We're trying to pick up a few little spring items and then seasonal type things. I, I like to, you know, look at those all year round, find things that are unusual and a good price. And I just put those in my seasonal area for when that season rolls around. So that's the thrift store haul for this time. I'm so excited to share this. This is my little package from eBay. And this was a complete treat for me. So I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna show them to you and then I'll tell you why I got these and why I'm so excited about it. So here we go. Okay, my first one is Boy, boy, at least that's what I call him. I'm gonna tell you why. This is so exciting to me. And then here is Pinky. <laughs> so, aren't they so pretty? I just, I just love them. So the story behind these, when I was little, my grandmother had these in her den in a little frame that they're probably about this size really and you know she always loved talking about pinky and blue boy and we just you know grew up with them we didn't really think that much about it because you know we're kids whatever so when we moved my grandmother out of the house those pictures were there but we don't know what happened to them i asked my aunt recently um she said she wasn't sure you know they could have been donated i have no idea I do have one print that was in her den that my aunt gave to me a while back, but we don't know what happened to Pinky and Blue Boy. So I have been wanting these so, so, so bad. A friend of mine has them on her bathroom doors at her coffee shop. And every time I go there at Cornerstone Coffee in our little hometown, I just, love them she's got you know of course blue boy on the boys and pinky on the girls and i see them every time and then another friend of mine on facebook she had pinky in her renovated bathroom and i just thought i just really want i want those well they're not really that easy to find but right after i saw her post with that pinky on it i got on ebay and started looking and found both of these and they were already framed beautifully framed I mean, this looks like it was professionally done. And both of these were like $60, so about 30 a piece, which is a great price compared to a lot of the ones that I saw. So I think with shipping and everything, they were like 70. So this was just a little treat for me. Now, where am I gonna put them? I think I'm going to put them in my dining room. I'm ready to change up the painting that's in there. So we'll see, we're gonna give it a whirl. So this is where they ended up. They are in my dining room. I had originally thought I would put them above this little buffet, but they really were too small there. So I'm just gonna keep that painting right there for now. And I've gotta do some rearranging on it when Easter's over. But this buffet was also my grandmother's. And these, even though these are not the ones that she originally had, they do make me think about her because she had them um, prints of these in her den. So I am so happy to have them and I think they work really well in this room. So every time I look at them, of course, they're gonna make me think about her and that, that'll just make me smile. This cute little piece of furniture I got from a client last week. She was gonna toss it. I think it's like a little um, flower holder. It has a little tin shelf that goes on the inside of it, a little box that fits down. So I originally think that's what it was for, but I am gonna use it in my kitchen um, underneath the painting. 
And so I found this pretty color green chalk paint. This came from Lowe's, it's that Magnolia Home brand. And it's Magnolia Green is the color. So I'm gonna paint it that, and then I'm gonna paint the little metal tray that goes on the inside white. And I'm gonna use it for fruit, but I'm also gonna use it when we have host, you know, holiday events and things like that. I'm gonna use it to put drinks in. So I think it's gonna be really cute. I cannot wait to get it in my kitchen and see how it turns out. Okay, so I have the first coat on it. It's really, has really good coverage with this paint. I think it's gonna take me maybe two. I might even put a third on it just to make sure. And then I'm gonna use a sealant to go over it, to hold it, make sure it doesn't get scratched up very easily. And then I'll start spray painting the other piece. This is my finished little piece of furniture. This was the one that was gonna be tossed out. I painted it. Um, Thank you for being with me a little bit today. I hope you got some really good ideas. Be on the lookout for treasures because you just never know where you're gonna find them. And more importantly, embrace your space. Do what you like and what you enjoy and what makes you feel happy when you look at it and brings you a little joy. I'll see you next time.